Well, hello and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, something important called GM Freddy. Let's go. talk to you about some uh, what is a GM30 many of you out there know what it is and many don't know what a GM30 is a GM30 is a notification you get at the in, uh, immigration when you come into Thailand you book maybe a hotel. When you give them your passport, they will do anything with the immigration for you. Um, if you have your own studio, condo, house, whatever, it's up to you to get it done. Many times you can get the landlord to do it. Um, else you need to go immigration by yourself. Or maybe you can do it online. I'm not quite sure, but it's important that you do it because they are taking this more and more seriously now uh, and uh, now you can even get a fine if you not have it, if you got uh, in a traffic stop, don't have a driver's license, for example, and you've been here in, let's just say, five days then you can get a fine for not have your GM30 in place and it's about 500 baht each day you will get a fine for that um, oh sorry I forget to tell you where I am I'm here the Copacabana over there so Jamchen Beach Road So that's why it's important for you to have it. I didn't know anything about a GM30 when I moved here because I always stayed at hotels and things like that. Uh, so yes, a lot of time I didn't have a GM30. So, um, so I was late with my GM30, so I get a fine for. Uh, 1600 baht if I remember correctly and then every time you move to another condo you can ask the landlord to do it for you or you can go to the immigration by yourself or use a visa service like I do I use the VIP visa uh, on second road here in Jamjian and they charge you 500 baht for everything so I use them I don't want to waste too much time at the immigration I don't know like I said if you can do online I never checked but every time I leave my uh, my condo and stay in a hotel they will ask for your passport so they can make a GM30 uh, not a GM30 notification that you stay there but when I go back to my room I need to go immigration and say now I'm here some hotels I heard uh, if you only go uh, like a like a weekend on Kusamir or something like that then you can ask them not to do because you go back and you stay the same your own room so some will do some will don't and if they check you in and not want you uh, not want to uh, do it the other way then you have to go contact immigration within within uh, 24 hours 
and the same as you if you arrive by plane and stay in your own room, no landlord, no anything, then you have 24 hours to uh, do your GM30. So, I think it's a little bit of good information for you guys out there uh, about what, because like I say, not many people know about this so-called uh, GM30. Not many do. So that's why I want you. Some people ask me actually to make this video. So I do it in English, not in Danish. Um, but anyway, I hope some of this info will be useful for you. Oh, the Jump Chin Night Market. And again, the Copacabana. I put a link in the video for my, for my review of the Copacabana when I was there with a friend. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you've not. But this was a little bit about the TM30. If I forgot anything, let me know. Write uh, down in the comment. Um, please like, share, subscribe this video. Until next time, be safe. See you.